Man, if we were hoping for an event that let's all realize we're Americans and come together, it, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, no, apparently. And I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I, I didn't even know if I should come in today. Wow. Honestly. Wow. I, uh, I'm going to have my feature, Jack Armstrong's View from 30,000 Feet. It's a feature I like to do. Excellent. Everybody sees things through their own, uh, not just like political lens or, or, or partisan lens or whatever, but just like big, giant, thick glasses that, I mean, completely change the way you see and hear things. Right. And everybody's already decided how they saw things. I mean, I could scream and yell about how it looks this way to me, but who's that for? I, 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 what, what's the point of that? I guess if you see it that way too, you feel better that somebody's fighting for your side, I guess. Right. I guess that's well, what right. you do. Sure, yeah. And people enjoy conversation. But it's, I mean, it's, it's from a uh, bedrock perspective, that's what we're doing here. Entertaining the folks, having a chat with them. But yeah, I hear what you're saying. You know the aspect of it that bothers me uh, most, and this has to do with tribalism. And if you're constantly fighting, you have to do this to protect yourself. It's the immediate arrival at certainty. People spend 1% of their time considering and 99% of their time utterly certain of their conclusions. Yeah, well, I'm, which I'm, makes me nuts. Well, well, part of my view from 30,000 feet is I think I've come to the conclusion people can't help it. I think it does have to do with the tribal thing. I think we can't help it. I think it's a human nature thing. Right. And yeah, I, oh, yeah, and, to a large extent. But, I mean, if you have if you have uh, uh, 20 people are in the backyard barbecue and 10 of them think it's really hot out and 10 of them don't, you can't convince yeah, the those. 10 people that, that don't think it's hot, it's hot, and the other 10 people can't convince you. I mean, just maybe they're so, too near the grill. So should we argue with each other or we should just get into our own little groups and we can talk about how hot it is and we can talk about how it's not hot. 